Morning Collective. We're going to do a quick energy check, see what your ancestors, the universe, the divine want you guys to know as you're navigating through your journey and sending to your highest good. I've already called in the appropriate protection. This is a timeless reading, so it's whenever it finds you. power some of you guys could be uber drivers Seventh house, one-to-one -one relationships, marriage, partnerships, social, intellectual action. Some of you guys could be psychics. Some of you guys are wanting... A more intimate, deep relationship. You guys are looking for marriage. A partner. Whatever happened to you in your past, got you guys to be evaluating a lot of things. You're no longer looking for like that. You just changed. You guys have evolved. You could be a Libra. You could have Libra in your seventh house. You could have Libra anywhere in your chart. Libra also represents balance. Tap into your hidden powers. Some of you guys are psychics. You guys are no longer limiting what you limiting yourself. You're like, no, I deserve this, and this is what I'm gonna get. You guys are not giving up on love. Spirit said, keep your eyes on the prize. Some of you guys are seeing angel numbers a lot more frequently. Your spirit guys are powerful. They're sending you messages. You guys are dealing in the past with like player type of energies, people who slept around, cheated on you. Somebody slept with your friend. That made you guys reevaluate things. You guys are making room for new things. You're like, <laughs> you're releasing the doubt. person from your past was emotionally closed off. Somebody wasn't who they appeared to be. You guys don't follow the crowd. 
<clears throat> you don't follow the crowd. This person follows the crowd. Your past person follows the crowd. Spirit said a lot of you guys are dancing more, but you need to dance more. Release that energy. Don't limit yourself. guys started releasing doubt this is the only person who loves me this person loves me we've been together for so long you started making room for new things opening possibilities getting out of the 3d you guys started getting real with yourself you started realizing i don't fucking deserve this emo unemotional unavailable whatever this person was doing because they wasn't who they were appearing to be. They showed you one, one thing, but behind your back there was somebody else. Maybe they went back to somebody that you have children with. Maybe you guys have children with this person. But the moment you started releasing that doubt, it your the game changed, I heard. The game changed. You started giving yourself more love. Loving yourself first. Oh. You started saying fuck this and fuck that. You said I'm done. And you fucking released your ex. Thank you, spirit. Thank you, spirit. You released that person. release them. You started making room for new things. You started loving yourself first. That inner goddess within you. Finding that divine passion within yourself. Why? Because you don't fucking follow the crowd. You're not a people pleaser. You don't give a fuck. started realizing your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Ooh. Who did this to you guys? <laughs> you step, you tap into your fucking power. You tap into that inner goddess. You said, what the fuck? I 
I've been limiting myself. Change. Change in direction. You started celebrating yourself. Whereas you used to celebrate this person, all their accolades, all the things that they did, always help this person. Yeah. Collaborating, inspiring, this person kept you stuck. They were feeding off your energy, I heard. You said, fuck that. And you released your ex. Your spirit guides are too powerful. Started protecting your bound, protecting yourself, your energy, creating boundaries, having your guard up. Not on like oh, like that. More like I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Not everybody's deserving of my fucking energy. Not everybody's deserving of my love. I'm gonna protect it. Now everyone's deserving of being in my energy or being having my time. Because you're a fucking whole package. You're the whole package. You're the wish fulfillment. You tapped into your... Tap into your power. What's your power? Your inner goddess. You found that divine passion for yourself where this person made you feel trapped. You said, I'm not trapped. Your spirit guides are too powerful. They had to show you who was who was king. I heard. Who? Shit, spirit, you start to scare me a little bit here. <laughs> who was king? So you could close these chapters out. Spirit showed you. Get in that masculine energy. Get in that Leo's. That, that Leo energy. Now this person wants to come in and speak the truth and apologize. We ain't got time for that bullshit. We ain't letting people take us out of our element. Spirit said this is the truth. This person wants to. Now, wants, now they want to talk. There was no talking before. Don't give, and you guys didn't give up on love. You just gave up on this love. You said, I'm not giving up on love. It wasn't love I lost. It was patience I lost with you. Get out there and get noticed now, Spirit said. Get out there and get noticed. Take that leap of faith, because you know you're the package, baby girl, baby boy. Stay humble, collective. <laughs> this emperor wants to come in. This king of wands, emperor person, they want to come in and apologize to their queen of wands. Who's very loving. Who started feeding that love back to herself. She built that confidence. He or she, take it wherever it resonates, guys. You know what I talk about all the time. They're in their head. Now they're stuck in their head. Yeah, because you guys got a beastie mode. Beastie mode manifesting that ten of pentacles. You gave me you 
kept your eyes focused on the prize. You don't follow the crowd. And maybe that's why this person put you in that kind of energy. They treated you like they treated everybody else. Sorry, not. Stepping into stillness. Ooh. My power is born in the majestic, in the majesty of silence. What did I just say? You kept your eyes on the prize. Tap into your inner power. You didn't limit yourself because you started. You was like, I am the whole motherfucking package. And that's not being cocky. It's being confident. Where this person didn't see your value, spirit need, your spirit guides had to show you who the fuck you are. They had to make you remember. Because this person had you sitting here like this. Fuck that. Spirit said, you know who the fuck? Look at yourself in the mirror. Some of you guys will benefit with doing that. Doing mirror, um, positive affirmations in the mirror. Okay, guys? It helps. A lot of you guys are psychics. Simplifying your life. I cherish the simple pleasures of life now. You clean that shit the fuck up. Your spirit, your spirit guys came through like whew, defensive end. Everybody get in formation. <laughs> I just heard you're highly honored in the spirit realm. Abandoning in my life. Look at you guys. You start, stuff just started popping up. Spirit, once you started loving yourself and releasing this negative, low vibrational person, you started focusing on your inner power. You started tapping into your own essence. Magic happened. And you guys are seeing it happen. Guys, that's one thing I can tell you guys. Starting fresh. You started going deeper. Started going in deeper. Like, why am I... Why am I inspiring this person? Why Why can I be the muse for this person, but this person keeps me like this? How is that equal? I can inspire and be the muse and give this person creative projects, ideas, but then they keep me stuck like this. Fuck that. You started digging deeper. You started saying, you know what? I see what the problem is. It's you. And you let go. And you started fresh. You breathe in. Spirit said, expect a miracle. You didn't limit yourself and you tapped in, you started getting real with yourself, listening to your intuition. Archangel Gabrielle, 
Thank you, Gabrielle, for helping me speak with integrity. You started speaking your truth. Ariel for helping me stand my ground with peace. Look at you and you got that Leo right there. Bam. You said, you know what? You start shining that light. Archangel Uriel, thank you Uriel for helping me to share my light with the world. And you know what you did? You took that leap of faith on yourself. And now you're living your joy. Living your joy. Spirit said there's nothing to worry about. Continue making healthy choices. And count your blessings. Because guess what? You are highly honored in the spirit realm. Archangel Michael is here protecting you. Thank you, Michael, for surrounding me with your protective light. Count your blessings. Thank you, universe and angels, for the blessings in my life. So let's continue making those healthy choices. Let's get to my angel number and close this out, Spirit. a change in direction. You release the conflict and you invite a peace. Breathe into me. Angel number three, mind, body, and soul in alignment appears to you. It means that your prayers and positive affirmations are being heard and responded by the Almighty. Also wants to assure you that your dreams and goals are aligned with your superpower. Nice Tap you. into your power. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Superpower. And that the universe is expressing their support approval. Angel number three carries a vibration of energies of spirituality, communication, self-expression, adventure, humor, joy, confidence, and, and enthusiasm. Look at you guys. Perfect. Perfect. I'm going to get you guys positive affirmation from here. Let's get one or two. Oh. I cherish beauty. I cherish beauty today. Find beauty in any, any little thing, guys. Any little thing. Find something and cherish. Cherish the beauty in the little thing Spirit said. I stand in my power. Look at this. Tap into your power, 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 power. Stand in your power. The yin to the yang. I am present. Always stay present in this moment, collective. I tell you guys this all the time. Very important that you're not going too far into the future. You're not... You're not... Focusing on the past past can't be changed so we shouldn't be thinking about it okay um the future's not here stay right here grounded in the present and the present and the present and the present and the present right here 